Hi everyone, it's Lonnie with Grace Blossoms for you. And today I have pockets on my mind. So first you will need a piece of paper that is in a rectangular shape. It doesn't have to be nice paper. It can just be any kind of paper that you can fold. I started using um, the papers that I had written scripture on. This one I dyed with, um, what was it? Uh, coffee and green food coloring. And it looks a little bit organically mossy, <laughs> which is fine. Um, but because I'm working on a white background, I thought I better get something to work with that is a little more viewer friendly so I'm gonna work with this one so first you bring up the corners of your paper just to the top of the edge there and then you bring in the sides and of course the sides are going to determine the width of your pocket. And then the other side, bring that in. And here's where I just kind of eyeball it. I mean, you can make wonky pockets, nothing wrong with that. I do like mine kind of um, uniform to look at, like actual pockets. So that's probably as big as I personally want to go. Um, that's without having a ruler. That's about, what, four or five inches? So yeah, that's about as big as I want. Then to glue it down, it's probably a little more um, challenging because you need to keep in mind that if you're planning to use it as an actual pocket, you're going to have to, hopefully you can see that, this one piece will stand by itself and then the other parts will be glued together. So I've had to go in and pretty much correct every one I've done because I didn't get all the pieces. Otherwise what's going to happen is if you try to put something in the pocket it's going to get stuck in these layers which might be okay if you're going for some hidden pockets but I wasn't with this project. Okay so first of all I glue down where I see it's going to overlap and this is where it comes in nice and handy to have a longer tip on your glue. So that's the first down. Then I want to be careful and not get it on the bottom piece here. So what I do is roughly look to see where it's going to land and then apply the glue. So hopefully will work. I think it depends on the paper you start with because I don't recall getting that close on the other papers I worked with. But never mind, you'll figure it out as you go. The real fun comes in decorating these. I find there's just so many so many possibilities. Okay, so from the outside, that looks like it's glued now. 
But then if you look on the inside, you can see where you might have to do touch-ups. So, like I said, I just go in. And fix that up. Okay, so there is your pocket. And it is technically ready to use. But like I said, decorating is half the fun, maybe even most of the fun. I do have some examples to show you, but I thought I would do one with you. I would like to use up some paper strips and some verse snippets that I have prepared. So, again, using up scraps just gonna glue down some paper so roughly like so I am filming in my kitchen today because it's like minus 36 Celsius so the, it's really cold where I usually film so I decided to bring it upstairs today all right so I need some more scraps of paper some other coffee dyed of course I had to pick the widest paper to decorate didn't I the widest pocket I mean that's fine I'll be all right so I want to overlap these Yesterday I spent some time just doodling and coloring and watercoloring on scraps of paper that I had left. And so today I also want to use one of those pieces. because it is pretty quick to dry and I don't have to worry that it's gonna come undone or anything. Okay, so that's most of it covered. And then I want to bring in this piece that I doodled on yesterday. So first I did some basic water coloring just to add some interest to the strip. 
and then what I want to do is roughly see how much I'm going to need. I can use that for something else, whatever is left. Then I want to just kind of give this a little bit of a outline. Yeah, nothing complicated today. Just need some scissors, some glue, and some paper. And then let your imagination take it from there. I don't think this pocket idea is new exactly. It's just new to me. And course I want to put my verse in there so what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna ink it up because I forgot on my last one I actually should have done the strips too but I didn't think of it the inking just makes it stand out definitely not something you have to do So then I want to add that to the top. I'm just going to roughly place the glue, especially on the edges, because we don't, oops, don't want it to come off. Something like that. Okay. So you see I have a little bit of the pocket sticking up there. I'll deal with that in a minute. First I'm just going to trim the paper edges. And you want to be a little careful so you don't cut your pocket like I just did. I'm going to glue mine into the journal. So what that means is you wouldn't have to necessarily, but when you look in there, you can see where I nicked it. Now, if I wanted to use this in a journal, I would probably just put some more glue in and fix that joint there. And then I could still use it. Yep, that would work. All right, so what I also wanted to do with this top part here is make like a designer pocket and then just follow the, the cutout I had already made. Totally organic, just me and my scissors. Okay, so then that's not too bad, right? Then I don't stop there though. I want to keep going a little bit. Now, the verse I'm going to use, I'm going to put inside, but I have all these verse snippets. And I thought it would be fun after I ink them up, of course, because they're all really white. So 
silver snippets and oh yesterday I also ended up using some little punches that I had to just use up some of the strips I had laying around and so we can decorate with those as well I'll see if there's any room left on here after after I do this verse strips here verse snippets basically I just typed on the computer a bunch of uh, phrases out of verses that were positive and encouraging and then I just cut them into strips something like that okay so then just wanted to put some glue down maybe cover up some of those holes smile on the inside because if you don't smile on the inside smiling on the outside isn't going to benefit you very much love conquers all yes it does because love is a person blessings in Christ yes because outside of Christ the blessings that we experience are temporal blessings when you're in Christ are eternal believe the truth because Jesus is the truth be joyful always As you can see, you could decorate this in a ton of ways. There's a verse that says, pray without ceasing. So I just reworded that to say, pray nonstop and don't worry. Pray about everything, worry about nothing. And the short one here, choose joy, because ultimately it's a choice. to put my help comes from the Lord the maker of heaven and earth I should have done that at the beginning because I don't have room now <laughs> today is a good day and I'm gonna cut this one because it's two sayings and I need something smaller. Rejoice always. Give thanks. And everything give thanks. 
Okay, so then I'm just again gonna cut off the edges here. Trying to be so careful now. This is construction paper, this envelope. So, yeah, I think they're pretty easy to cut into. Anyways, okay, so there's that. Then I want to ink the outside. definition again all right let's see if I have something fun in the way of decorations that could be cute it's a little big it's a butterfly fall that would work it actually gives a nice contrast to the purple there I guess I filled it up a little much. I might not have um, left enough room. That's a cute negative butterfly there. I could also go up there. I'm going to do that, I guess. So I'm going to put the leaf on the circle. And then glue the leaf down, or the circle down. Good way to use up lots of scraps. And if you're scrapping on a budget or journaling on a budget, and these days I think most of us probably are, somewhat anyways. Oh, I have some plain hearts. That would work. Wait, that's actually a sticker. Sometimes I draw stickers and then I have sticker paper left over so then why waste it there we go cool hopefully that will give you some ideas and I'll bring out the other ones 
that I did. And of course the verse. All right, so this one I made with um, just older paper. It was kind of a cream color. It's very thin. And as you can see, most of them are, diff are smaller than the one with construction paper. Um, so I wrote the verse on the front of it. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you believe in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I think that might be my new favorite verse, and thank you to Trina for reminding me of it. Um, he does it. God of hope fills you with joy and peace as you believe in him. So, as we believe in him, he fills us with joy and peace in order that we may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So he does it in us. It's not something we have to conjure up, but it's his work in us that accomplishes it. So, okay, so for this one, I just may, I cut with my scissors just this um, design. And so I like that one. Then there's this one. I doodled this, and that's the same idea as what we did over here. Difference is with this one, I wrote the verse out on the strips that I put down. And this was just lined paper. And it's actually quite a bit sturdier than the construction paper. Funny that. Must be all the glue. So there's another one where I wrote the verse on the lines because I use line paper. My writing is on the inside. Then I made one with the writing on the outside and then I made the shape of an arrow. And I thought that would be cool because even this could be used as an arrow if you wanted to point to something on your page. So that looks more like an arrow. And then I had this um, newspaper and I thought, hey, I wonder how that would work. So here I just used my hole punch and punched out three circles at the top just for some different, just for a different look. And then this is a three by five card and you can see. So that's normal lined paper, that pocket. And you can see how it fits if you want to use smaller cards or larger cards. Just depends on how much you want them sticking out. I don't think it would stick out in this one. Oh, it does a little. So. There's that. I think of all of them, Well, I like all of them. As you can see, I have made quite a lot. And this is just today's. I made some the other day just with book page. And they were fun too. So I think the bottom three are my favorite. So there. Take that, run with it. I do hope you give it a, a go. Um, it would be nice to see some of your projects. Not sure how, I mean, you could email me. I've got my email address on my description there or in my 
channel information. So if you would like to take a picture and send it to me and let me know how you did. So thanks for watching and I hope you have a blessed week and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.